Today, I'm going to show you some safety tips you need to know if you're planning on using dry ice at home. First, let's take a look at the tools that you should have on hand. A pair of safety goggles or glasses. A rubber mallet or hammer if you need to break the dry ice into smaller pieces. A pair of tongs for handling dry ice. A pair of insulated gloves for picking up the dry ice. An insulated container that is not tightly sealed is the best way to safely store dry ice. Tightly sealed, airtight containers prevent gas from escaping and can cause pressure to build up inside the container, leading to a potentially dangerous explosion. For this reason, dry ice should not be stored in airtight coolers. Wearing insulated gloves and using tongs to handle or move dry ice can help protect your skin from damage. For extra protection, you can also wrap the dry ice in an insulated material while handling. Dry ice is extremely cold. With a temperature of negative 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit, touching dry ice directly without any protective gear can seriously irritate your skin and even lead to frostbite. If you need to safely break dry ice into smaller pieces, wrap a chunk of dry ice in a dish towel on a solid, stable surface. Then, use your mallet or hammer to break the dry ice into smaller pieces. When working with dry ice, station yourself outside or in a well-ventilated area that gives you and others room to breathe. Dry ice is a solidified form of carbon dioxide. As it melts, dry ice emits carbon dioxide in the form of gas, which can cause suffocation in an enclosed, unventilated space. Dry ice is not safe to consume. The human body is not built to digest dry ice, so you should not eat or drink any dry ice. You should also never eat or drink anything made with dry ice in it, as it can cause significant damage to your mouth or throat. Dry ice should only be used under adult supervision. While it can be used for a multitude of fun, educational activities and experiments, it is important to closely monitor children as they handle dry ice to make sure they follow all safety guidelines, wear proper safety gear, and do not consume dry ice. When disposing of dry ice, allow it to melt or sublimate in an open, well-ventilated area. Do not dispose of dry ice in a sewer, sink, garbage disposal, or garbage chute. The release of carbon dioxide in these areas could allow gas to accumulate and build up pressure, leaving room for a potential accident, 